Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today we're taking a look at a new ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4 GTI 9505, AT&T, and Galaxy S4, and of course Canadian variants as well. They are concluded. Um, just be aware if you are planning on installing this on an AT&T Galaxy S4, flash the ROM and right after, before rebooting, uh, flash the Loki Doki kernel or you know the uh, patch. I'll have a link down below for the ROM and the patch for your AT&T Galaxy S4 device and all the other variants down below as well. Um, so let's go and uh, talk about this ROM. Uh, it's a pretty nice ROM. It's called Foxhound for your Galaxy S4 device of course. Um, before we actually begin, let's go and dive in into settings and about device. And as you can see, all the model number version you're running on. So just in case if you guys are wondering what that is, um, there you guys go. Just in case if you're looking at this in, you know, later into the month or the year even, um, you guys do know what version of a RAM you guys are looking at. Um, but let's go and take a look at it. Uh, first thing you notice, some of the icons are actually themed, which is pretty nice. So you got Gmail, YouTube, and messaging. Um, so let's go and take a look at YouTube. Let's go and take a look at that. Um, so you have a nice blue icon. So it is kind of... Uh, match the whole theme of a blue-esque look of it. So everything is blue, so it, it does match the whole icon of it. Um, you also have an AOSP messaging. Um, you have an ability to add this uh, via installing it Aroma in Clock Remote Recovery or Team One Recovery. Um, you can do a new message and all that. I really prefer um, AOSP messaging, a lot less laggy. Um, it's a lot much cleaner and faster in my um, experience and my preference. I really do prefer it more than um, Sam Samsung's uh, messaging application which is really nice. Okay, um, if we go into settings, oh, I'll show you the toggles as well. So I'll just show you that right now. Um, so you have these Wi-Fi toggles, which is a nice blue. So I'm gonna turn on uh, GPS and I'll turn on um, screen rotation. So as you can see that you get the nice blue right there. Um, it goes all the way down to all your toggles. And yes, you do have your mobile data toggle as well. So it's a lot easier to access. If you go and tap on that, you have all your rest of them. So um, also, you may be getting a little sense that it's more like an AOSP look of it. Um, much more transparent, as you can see. Um, a lot much cleaner than um, TouchWiz's, you know, has all the themes on top and all the bulk and stuff. So it is a lot much cleaner. It makes you, it reminds me of having an AOSP ROM on my Galaxy S4, even though this is running on TouchWiz, if you guys are wondering. Um, so let's go and dive into settings. So you have these um, tabs, which are themed. So they are your usual tabs, so they are white which is nice, I prefer it. Um, let's go dive into Foxhound Extras and take a look at some of these things. Um, let's go into battery first. Um, you have two options to choose a battery mod, style for charging. Um, since I'm not charging my phone, we're not really gonna go into that. Let's go into styles. And here is where you can um, get more. So <clears throat> here's my battery right now. It's green, an ugly, ugly green. No one even likes green. <laughs> I don't know why Samsung does it. Um, let's go and change it to this Android guy. So now I have a blue Android figure. We'll do a couple more. Circle mod, which is very popular for you guys. Um, broken circle, which is very nice as well. There we go. So you have a lot of these options for a circle mod and all that, which is really nice. You can even go back to Froyo. So right there. I ice cream sandwich spear. So you have a lot of these and they just keep, oh, you have a lot. So you can choose a lot from these. If you want to change it up one day or another, you can go and have that ability if you want to have that option. Um, you have the exposed installer if you want to use that application. I I really don't use it. You, you also have DPI manager. Um, if you want to make your apps bigger, uh, make the font bigger, or make um, an app think you're running on a tablet, you can with this. Um, so I can just show you the inside of it. I really won't show you an example. Um, let's go into uh, into Play Store. It's a Google Play Store right here. Uh, if you go and turn it on, um, you can change your DPI, the font scale the, um, the uh, screen size right here, so you can change it to think it's a phablet or a tablet actually, even if you want. Um, so you can do all those options right there. Uh, no, oh, we're gonna do yes. And we're gonna go back out of that. So that's a quick look at it. Um, you also have secret codes, which can come in handy if you wanna IMEI and all that. So you can go and choose these uh, things and let's do testing mode. You can tap on that. And that's the code right there. So you just put that into your phone dialer right there and it'll show you the code. So it gives you all the codes that you need. Um, you also have a faster GPS fix. I rarely use GPS, so I really don't know if that works. It should, as the developer is very reliable. And he did make this ROM for the Galaxy Nexus, I believe, when I was first starting out YouTube. I remember when uh, I did a ROM review for Foxhound. <laughs> that was a while ago, about a year ago, even more. Um, so you have all these GPS fix, just choose the correct location you're in, and you can go and fix it so you can get a faster GPS location or you know connection with your um, satellite. Uh, you also have audio boost sound right here. So let's go and select that. Um, we'll go and take a quick look at that. I actually haven't taken a look at that. 
Um, so we'll go and take a look what it is. Okay. Okay, so it's a sound, um, kind of like Beats Audio. It reminds me of. So you can go and do a Viper. All right. So that's it. <laughs> um, some of more technical stuff in about your system is CPU total stats. So let's take a look at that. You can see your stats, installed apps, what, it, what it's taking up, and then script, which is really nothing. Um, so you got your info at what state it was at. So deep sleep was 75%, which is correct. I haven't been really using it on my phone for a while. <laughs> um, idle Wi-Fi timer manager, or time manager. Uh, performance settings. I always like going into these. So let's go and grant this. And allow it. There we go. And let's go and, uh, no, let's go and select that. Okay. Um, so you can change this. Um, I also recommend doing it on demand, but obviously if you want a game, you can go into performance, or if you're not going to be really using it, which I'm not really going to, uh, at least the rest of the day, is going to conservative if you really want to, or you can go and customize this as much as you want. Um, and you can go obviously do the other settings right there as well for your CPU. Um, and that's about it as much I want to show you. Uh, not, a, like, a, not a lot of fancy new stuff, but there are settings and options that can come in useful for many of you guys. Um, but that's a quick look at Foxhound settings for your Galaxy S4 device, GGI9505, AT&T, and T-Mobile. AT&T users, please remember that you must flash Loki Doki right after flashing this ROM, or you can get stuck in a boot loop, and stuff is going to happen. So just remember to flash Loki Doki after flashing this ROM without rebooting first. Um, but links down below for the actual ROM and Loki Doki down below. And I hope you enjoyed this ROM review. But if you did, then go and subscribe and like this video in the bottom left hand corner, as it has really helped me out a lot. Um, you want to see more of these great ROM reviews for your Galaxy S4 device, Nexus 4, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S3, and many other devices to come in the future as I get more devices and you know start collecting them and all that. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and you guys are probably wondering where my battery uh, back cover is. <laughs> it's right here. I was kind of too lazy to put it on, so I just put it on the case. <laughs> um, but guys, thanks for watching. And hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus If you have any Android uh, questions for this RAM or rooting or anything like that, I'll be happy to uh, help you out, guys, for your, you know, your smartphone devices. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.